Have you ever caught multiple muskies in a very short amount of time? If you have, let me know what it was in the comments below. Mine was three muskies in 20 minutes. What's going on everybody? You are watching Angling Anarchy. My name is Brian. Welcome to another video. I'll be honest with you, I have not found the time this year to get out musky fishing much and when I have the weather has just been absolutely crummy. So I am lacking in fresh new material to make videos out of right now. It's just, uh, a, like I said, a lack of time and crummy weather and just it's not coming together at all. So. I was going through some of the old footage I had and just looking at it to, to see what there was and I came across a trip that I took back in 2014 to Eagle Lake with my dad for five days. Uh, my dad doesn't musky fish that much so I just wanted to take him up there and show him the magic of, of Eagle Lake I guess you could say and we could not have hit it any better. To date it's the best I've ever done on that body of water. We were there for five days, we boated. 20 muskies and I got 17 of them and I think I had another 12 with hooks in them so I potentially had almost 30 muskies hooked up six a day on average and it was just uh, nothing short of amazing uh, all on bucktails all on they were 109 and uh, 10 double 10 bladed bucktails east ox assault killer corn specifically that color it was amazing I had put another color on and they just didn't want to have anything to do with it. They wanted killer corn. So I was going through that footage, just kind of remembering that, that really cool trip. And I uh, remembered that there was a 20 minute period one night where I boated three muskies. And that was just amazing. That's the most I've boated in that short of amount of time. And I realized I've, I've never really done anything with any of this footage. I have all this footage of us catching these muskies. This was six years ago almost, so I didn't quite have the equipment I have now. I wasn't wearing a chesty, so the audio isn't great, but luckily it was calm, so it picked up good audio from the GoPros. You know, I had the GoPros in their, their waterproof cases, so the it's a little muffled. It's not as nice as the audio you get now with some of the skeleton cases, but it's perfectly good footage that I've maybe put a clip here and there, but for the most part, I've never edited it together in a nice way and shown it to anybody. So I figured, what the heck, let's uh, knock the dust off these little pieces of footage and throw them together and uh, see what we can make out of them. Now, real quick, just a little bit of background uh, on the, the evening we were out. We were heading to a spot, and my friend Jamie and his family, they, we always you know, fish up there with them. They were coming into the spot as I was coming into the spot and I just barely beat him. So I, I took the honors of uh, fishing the spot and he went just around an island. So he was within kind of shouting distance. And I remember when I hooked the first fish, I think I let out a uh, shout to let them know that we had caught something. And uh, we had uh, a marine radio, so we were kind of talking back and forth. So if you're listening to the footage and you can hear a marine radio, that's that's what we're doing. We're kind of letting them know what happened. but. Uh, yeah, it's just it was it's neat to watch that old footage and that's what I tell people, you know, even if you're not going to film and you know have a YouTube channel and, and you don't want to get fancy with editing, just filming to have that footage, you know, this is a trip that was kind of a once in a lifetime trip. I got to go through with my dad and have some of the best musky fishing I've ever had in my life. And not only do we have pictures of it, but I have video of, of all the catches. So uh, you know, I encourage people to to film, um, even if you just have that one camera. You know, that way if you, even if you don't catch a fish, if you miss a fish or you get a cool figure eight or a strike, you have that. Um, it's it's sort of a, a level up from just having pictures. You have video of it now. Uh, so I, I encourage everybody to do, uh, you know, throw a GoPro in the boat and have it run and, and capture this, this cool stuff that happens. All right, that's enough of me talking. Without further ado, here is three muskies in 20 minutes on Eagle Lake. Uh, hope I can make it look uh, pleasing to the eye and hope you enjoy it.
This right away. Turned around, I, you know, I didn't want to try and catch him by his tail. Oh, that's a nice one, baby. Right into the net. That's a better one. Yes, that is a good one. That's a good one. Shit. They're going to kill me. <laughs> I, you think he might be a 50? Should I get I him? I bet he's up for 40s. He just got out. Oh, did he? Yep, so go ahead and uh, get the board out. Yeah, because he's, he's a long one. Yeah. I swiped a second time because oh. it didn't seem like it was coming, but it, I think it did. Yeah. And when I hit it, I think I hit in the area of the camera. Oh, I think this is another one of those 46s. Oh, that's a Which is still alright by me. Uh, I should maybe be on the other side. Of okay. For the best light. How are we doing against that rock there? I guess we're getting pushed out. Oh, come on, lady. Oh, 
48. <laughs> Wonder if he's in range yet. I think so. Well, if that's a 48, we've seen some that are bigger than that. Come again? Probably get that brown back with that kind of purplish line here. Yeah. Yeah. Four eight. Two inches from fifty. <laughs> I bet those Triton guys will they'll, they'll probably get a fifty tonight. They they know a lot of spots. Yeah. I, I bet they'll get something big. The uh, the guys in the banana boat. Yeah, yeah, they're good. I always think one one more turn too quick or too many when it comes to not pulling it up. Yeah. I was wondering if I saw something. had that happen that fast. <laughs> I just barely saw him so I just went in the figure eight and he came out of nowhere and whacked it again. Yeah, uh, I, I I, was wondering if I didn't see just a, almost a shadow yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you, <clears throat> you, you had him. Just another little guy. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, we can. It's the numbers that will piss them off. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll, at least they'll hear something and they'll know you've got it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to actually get on the other side. Oh, yeah, that's all right. That. I got it. I got it. button at the bottom that'll get you out of just about anything. It's 39. Button at the bottom will get you back yep. to the main page and got then, it. okay, got it. See how I'm kind of, see how my fingers right here, oh, how yeah. I put them like that? Yeah. He wanted to go. Folks, three muskies in 20 minutes. I hope you enjoyed watching that little uh, blast from the past and some of the older footage I have. I'm going to keep going through that stuff because I think uh, when I initially w started filming, I, I didn't know how to edit. I was just capturing film, and I think a lot of it just is, is on a, a disc somewhere and is taking up space, and I haven't really done anything with it. So... Uh, Depending on how the how musky fishing goes, and you, you guys know how squirrely muskies can be, uh, maybe every now and again, just so we can have a video every Saturday at 8.30, uh, we'll have to delve back into the archives and find some, some old stuff and try to edit it together in an interesting way. 
Thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, to all the longtime subscribers, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. Anybody that hasn't subscribed yet, please do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. It does help the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching. We will see you on the next video.